What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're taking a look at the game recording feature here on the Steam Deck, a guide or an overview of the stuff you can do here with the game recording. It came with the 3.6.20 updates recently in the past few days at time of making this video. We're on that 3.620 here. And this was an update to that that I also covered in another video. If you wanna check that out, I'll put a link in the description. But it brought the Steam game recording among other things like the remote play, AV1 encoding, and other things we'll be taking a look at in other videos. But sticking with the game recording for this, I wanna go over a bunch of the different features and how this works. And you can find this in a lot of different places, so let's take a look at that first. Over in our settings, we scroll down here to game recording. We have a new tab with options for recording off, record in background, and record manually. And if we keep scrolling down, we're going to have some more options we can get into as well. It'll tell you some of the shortcuts that you can get into. Steam plus A to start and stop recordings. Steam plus Y for shortcuts made on your timeline. And there'll be other shortcuts that show up later. I'll show you as well. You can adjust the quality for your recording and of course your maximum frame rate 30 or 60 FPS. Maximum video height will default on no limit but you have other uh, pixel heights you can choose from in there. You can record your microphone as well so if you want to add some voiceover or something to your clips so while you're working on that you can do that and yeah that'll handle all that inside here for this tab. Now there's other places to find this as well so if we go into the game's properties now there'll be a new tab in here as well for game recording and you can actually set in individual options for individual games. You can enable or disable background recording altogether, change the length and the quality all here per game also. So the other one's global settings uh, in the settings tab, and this is per game stuff. You can adjust this way if you want to. Now, before we launch into the games and start checking out some other stuff with your recording, if you want to find your recordings, this is always going to be over in the media tab when you hit the steam button and you'll find those in here where we'll be able to edit and share and all that. We'll take a look at that shortly in the guide as well. Now, if you're in game, this is the last place I'll show you that you can find game recording options. It can be pretty handy here and it'll tell you your current shortcuts because these will change depending on what you're doing. You can start recording from here, view and set your record settings as well. So those are all the places you can find that tab and get to different settings and find your media. Now I'm going to go on record manually. Well, I've had record manually on here. I'm going to go to record in background. You're going to see that red dot come on right there while I have the game open. And we are now recording the game in the background. And you see those shortcuts have changed. Steam plus Y and Steam plus up on D-pad to make a clip out of that, which currently I have set will be 10 second clips that we can grab out of that. So those shortcuts change depending on if you're using your background recording or not there. Now, if we go over into media, you'll see there's that background recording we just activated and got there and we can delete that, view it, edit it, do whatever we want with that. Also, if you are background recording and you hit that shortcut to make a clip, that will show up in your media tab right away for you. You could even edit it and share it and do whatever you want while your game's open and that'll work just fine. But your background recording is not going to show up until you actually exit out of the game and go back home and then it'll move over there for you to do what you want with there. But I did want to mention that for those of you that might be looking for that. And we're going to switch back over to record manually. I want to show you here. This will pop up if you have background recordings. You can actually delete them here. Otherwise, they won't be affected. So if you swap between those two settings, you're not going to lose background recordings you may already have saved in here. All right, so here's some of the clips I've been making. We had that three minute and something background recording. I had some manual recordings I made here and a clip, a 10 second clip I made. So we'll be able to take a look at some editing of these and some sharing of these. And you can see where I did the pin in this one, where I took my clip from my background and all of that. But if we want to edit this, we're going to go over to those scissors to click edit. And keep in mind, this is going to pick up wherever you may have been playing the video from. So you're going to want to adjust that. And you have ways to do that as you get in here and set where you want to clip the beginning and the end of your new uh, video file here. So if we go all the way back here, we can adjust with the uh, left hand scissors here. This is going to clip our left hand side where to start from. And if we want to change that, we just move this frame by frame or 10 seconds at a time. And we can clip that wherever we want for beginning or end. I'm going to make a longer clip here real quick. And we'll just kind of move down the line. Keep going. And we'll clip the right side again. So your yellow highlighted area. Now I'm going to click this icon over here. And it's going to say save clip, save new clip, send to other device. And I'm going to do a save new clip here. And there we go. And once we do that, now we'll see I have my 1 minute and 11 instead of 148. We've clipped that one down. 
and we could share that if we wanted to. The thing is, we could only do that by sending it to another device. Anything over 60 seconds, you're not going to be able to use the send to phone or the QR link. So you would have to send the clip to your PC this way uh, if you wanted to do that. Now, it is more convenient, though, to be able to use the phone, the uh, app on your phone or the QR code. So if we go to my clip here, that's 10 seconds. Anything under 60, this should work for. We go back to share. Now they're highlighted. Send to phone or create QR link. So I'll click send the phone and I would be able to use my app and send this directly that way. And that's been working pretty well for me there. And then, of course, the other way is to create a QR link, which only takes about a minute or so on my deck here to actually create the link. And then that's good for a couple of days to go check out the video as well. So a couple of easy, decent ways to be able to share those clips as well. Delete, edit, do whatever you want here right on the deck, right in game mode. And once you get used to it, it's not too bad. It felt a little cumbersome at first, uh, but it was working pretty well. Now, the other thing is game performance. How well has Valve done at keeping game performance decent while you're doing these recordings? So let's take a look at that here. Harder to run games are going to be obviously a different story than stuff that's easy to run. Dragon Age Veilguard here is really tough to run on the Steam Deck, especially to keep over 30 FPS, but we're at 32 just sitting still here. If we activate recording, which you just saw there, we get about 30 FPS. We might lose two here, which is pretty common for a lot of the harder to run games I've been checking out. Two to three FPS. And if we turn off recording, you'll see it bounce back here once it finishes that, and we'll be back to the 32 to 33 FPS. Nothing major. Over in uh, Horizon, load this one up. I did this in the news video. 47 FPS. We activate the manual recording, and we're at 44 FPS. 3 FPS loss, and that's pretty consistent on this game. Again, harder to run games. It's going to hit a little more. Easy to run stuff, not so much. It's not a big deal. They've done a good job of not destroying performance while being able to get these clips or do background recording uh, on here as well. Now, if we want to go in and change to recording background from my manual we were just testing and see if there's any difference, we'll do that, and we'll get launched into Horizon here. So now it's just recording in the background instead of me activating. We load in, and we're around 43, 44 bouncing around a little bit. I notice it's not as stable sometimes as the manual recording for whatever reason. And in Dragon Age Veilguard, instead of 30 solid, we're 28, 29, sometimes 30. Remember, we were 32, not manual recording, and 30 when we were before. So pretty similar, but I do feel like it's not quite as stable for whatever reason, but works out fine. And now easier to run games, of course, with background recording or manual recording uh, isn't going to be a problem. Like this is a really easy to run game I play quite often on the Steam Deck. I can run this 60 FPS whether I'm manually recording at the highest settings or background recording. And that's something else as well. I'm on the highest quality right there. And you can adjust recording quality and help by one FPS here or there or two. It's not a lot, but you can kind of adjust things uh, there. But overall, I think, you know, depending on what you're playing, how much impact it's going to have. But at the end of the day, Valve has done a good job of optimizing this so that it does have the least impact as possible on your gaming especially some of this hard to run stuff that's already eating up your resources so i certainly can't complain about that and i think this will be a cool feature for a lot of people and i could see them definitely continuing to update and smooth that that out a little and uh, make it even easier for some of the editing and sharing and all of that and i've also had some little bugs where background recording even when it's turned off is turned on on me and i've had to delete the clips i'm not sure if that's like a user error or a me thing but uh, i have noticed that a couple of times and uh check that out so but anyways let me know how this is working out for you guys are using game recording are you having any bugs or issues or any tips or tricks or anything i missed here in the video let us know in the comments guys all right thanks a lot for coming to check out the video as always i really appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one